welcome to Physio Diaries DH YouTube channel. We are still doing the education, and this time we are going to talk about one of the modalities. This one is another modality that is used in physiotherapy units for managing both chronic and acute pains. In this video, I'm going to be talking about indications for this particular device, and then I'll also stress on contraindications because that aspect of the application of the machine is very crucial for most physiotherapists to know them and even people who have bought this apparatus for their own personal use we have to know the indication and contraindication when we are dealing with TENS TENS is an acronym for transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation TENS is one of the modalities used in the physiotherapy unit for the management of chronic and acute pains. The machine introduces electrical current into the skin for therapeutic purposes. As the name implies, it is transcutaneous. That means it transmits electrical impulses through the skin to other areas of pain. This device is portable device which is battery operated connected to electrodes through wires but it has a wide range of control users have wide range of control switching between pulse width frequency and intensity as i said earlier users have control switching between phase width frequency and intensity but i will talk about the the frequency changing frequency of the apparatus gives a different feature that is when we are going to have conventional tens best tens and acupuncture like tens low frequency of less than 10 hertz with high intensity may produce visible muscular contractions however high frequency of about 50 hertz goes with which is able to deliver or produces parasthesias without muscle contraction. The unit is said to be titratable, permitting for high degree of user tolerance with few side effects. It also has low risk of overdose compared to medications. Transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation is an important part of pain management and so we have to know about this particular modality very well and we have to also note an interesting part of it which is indication what can we use the apparatus for and what are some of the things that we need not to use the apparatus when they are in place these are some of the things we are going to tackle I'm sure now you understand me well how far we've come to so this is the tanks machine transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation this is a small device as you can see it's very portable that can fit into our own pockets so this is the machine and these are the electrodes electrodes so those are the uh, the materials that are placed on the skin and then these are the connecting wires you see connecting wires then in the video i also made mention it is battery operated this one is the energizer so let's see we have a, a, a space for the battery to be inserted this side then we cover it i switch it on okay you hear the sound but note that we have a lot a different type of this apparatus but for me i'm using this particular type there are other ones there fortunately this one has two options that is tanks and EMS I mean electrical muscle stimulation or neuromuscular stimulation so um, these are the connecting wires it has two channels channel 1 and channel 2 so I connect the uh, wires to the channels and then I have the electrodes placed on the particular area to be treated yes Fortunately, we have four electrodes, but you can use all the electrodes when you want to achieve or you want to be treating extensive areas. 
However, if you are using two, you can place the other ones at the opposite ends. So in this case, I'm going to be using only two uh, if I want to achieve wrist flexion this way. Uh -huh. this, this this is the way out. I will do the placement and then I switch on my apparatus. Make sure I set the frequency that can help me produce muscle contraction. You see, yes, that, so that I can get wrist flexion. And so I have to go to the second option, which is EMS. But note that I'm not going to stress much on this one because that is not the main focus for this particular video. And so let's move on to the indication. So before we come to the indications and the contraindications, you have to note that transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation tends is able to cause pain relief when it is being used based on two theories. The first one is by the potency of the machine to stimulate the body to produce natural painkillers such as endorphins. The second theory is that when the apparatus is used, it is able to activate nerve cells that block transmission of pain signals. And so this in turn also help releases you from pain perception. So now let me address the indications and contraindications. Indications has to do with conditions that will require usage of the tense machine. There are numerous conditions we can use tense machine, but I will list few common ones to you so that you can start using transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation as far as pain management is concerned in those conditions. The first one is knee osteoarthritis. The second one is bursitis. The third one is tendinitis. The fourth one is peripheral artery diseases. The fifth one is low back pain. Sixth one is traumatic conditions and the seventh one is post-operative conditions. So there are numerous of them, yet I will leave you to have just these few seven conditions as indications. Now to the contraindications. Contraindications means conditions you don't have to use the apparatus at all. Because remember, if you do, you are rather going to cause more harm than good. Or there can be an instance where the patient can die. So do not use the apparatus in any of these instances or conditions.